To the saints who worship at St. Andrew Presbyterian Church of Denver, Colorado, grace and peace to you in the name of the one who was and is and is to come, our Lord Jesus Christ. Many of you don't know me. I'm Pastor Matt Johnstone. I'll be joining you as your interim pastor on January 15th. When I first saw the news coming out of Arapahoe High School in Centennial, Colorado, my first thoughts were of you. I was alarmed and grieved, and most of all, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry that this is happening again. I'm very sorry that you all are suffering once more with this incredible grief and anxiety and fear. I'm very sorry that the Denver area keeps having these terrible tragedies. And I'm sorry that I'm so far away. I'm sorry that I'm not able to be there with you. I'm sorry that I'm not able to lead you in a time of grief and confusion. I'm sorry that I'm not there yet. But at the same time, in all of this, I'm also very grateful. I'm grateful for students, teachers, and administrators who knew how to keep themselves safe and their friends. I'm grateful for first responders and policemen who responded immediately. I'm grateful for communities of faith, community centers who've opened their doors to share in a body of peace in the wake of awful violence. And I'm grateful for you all, for the chance that you have to witness to one another, for the chance that you have to be the people of God, even in the darkest circumstances. At this time, at all times like this, I find myself turning to the words of Scripture. I was here not so long ago. I only lived two hours away from Newtown, Connecticut. The camp that I worked at had students who went to that school district. And so I remember that on that occasion we turned to Scripture. As I turn now, the words of the 13th Psalm. How long will you forget me, Lord? Forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long will I be left to my own wits, agony filling my heart? Daily? How long will my enemy keep defeating me? Look at me. Answer me, Lord my God. Restore sight to my eyes, otherwise I will sleep the sleep of death. My foes will rejoice over my downfall. But I have trusted in your faithful love. My heart will rejoice in your salvation. Yes, I will sing to the Lord because he has been good to me. The word of the Lord. You all will be in my thoughts and prayers in the days and weeks to come. I couldn't be there with you, and so I decided to do the second best thing that I could. Blessings be with you all. Share this time with one another. I will be with you very, very soon. And the blessings of God our Father, Christ, our brother, and of the Holy Spirit, our comforter, sustain and keep you all in this Advent season and beyond. Amen.